Hey everyone, this is Ben Carmichael with New England on the Fly. Doing the first video in a series that we're calling Fish School. We're moving away from just doing uh, videos about trips and gear reviews, and we're going to do a bunch of instructional how-tos. Some of them are going to be fly-oriented, those are the ones I'm going to do. And then those of you who have watched our Gear and Beer popular series, you've seen my dad Andy, who usually sits here to my left. He's a fanatical, lightweight inshore spin guy, so he's going to be talking about some spinning gear setups as well. Branching out, talking about the dark side, but we're going to do a little bit of both. So today for the first video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite species, and that's false albacore. Why false albacore? We got snow outside, it's 30 degrees, seems like an awfully long way away. I am addicted to false albacore. If you've tasted them, if you've felt the adrenaline rush, you are too. One of the reasons is <clears throat> they are beautiful. You catch one out of the sea, uh, you're catching, in some cases, a tuna on a fly rod from shore. That conceptually is a miracle. And then you pull them out, you hold them up, and they're like opalescent, right? They're three-dimensional somehow, prismatic sort of characters of light playing through their skins, the hard tails, the way you have to like, you know, shoot them back into the water, like a jump-starting a Ferrari on a downhill, shifting into first or something. They're just an unbelievable species. So they also are pound for pound when it comes to acceleration and power, incredibly tough fish. So they're gonna test your gear. Perhaps more than say stripers or uh, blues or something like that. This is the fish in New England that is gonna test and even break your gear. Uh, I've been out on boats before, actually one day a couple of years ago with an experienced guide, a couple of experienced false albacore fishermen. We broke two rods, broke a line, lost an entire fly line one on the red stints. You get the point. Having what is gonna work is paramount with these fish. So let's talk about gear for the fish that probably breaks the most gear in New England. Starting with the rod, my favorite rod is this Sage Salt 9 weight. Uh, people can go 8 or 9 weight, 8 might be a little bit light, It'll give you a little bit more feel. Um, Sage Salt has got a lot of backbone, can toss a lot of line. I like this rod for false albacore. If you want something with a little bit more touch, maybe try the Scott Tidal, a little bit cheaper, a little bit more feel. The Sage Salt is an awesome rod. Going down to the reel, um, I'm a big fan, as you may already know, of the Hatch Fanatics. This is the 7 Plus. Um, you can go up to a 9 Plus as well, but I know some guys who think that the 9 Plus is maybe a little bit overkill, especially for single-handed rods and salt. You can put a lot of backing onto this. Um, I've got some mono running line on here as well. Maybe that carries over from my salmon fishing days, but um, Got enough line on here to really make a difference. Uh, in terms of line itself, I really love the uh, Rio Coastal Quick Shooter XP. That's a tough line. Uh, it's not gonna break on you, but the XP and the Coastal Quick Shooter, it's a short head. So you're not doing a lot of trout false casting. You can't, you don't have time to do that if you're chasing Albies. Um, that's a clear purple line, it stands out. Um, it's also just a little bit of an intermediate. It's 1.5 inches per second sink to it, which I find to be just about perfect. Uh, leaders, a um, lot of debate about this. I know some people who run st straight 20, straight, I don't know, 25 even. Um, I tend to go a little bit lighter. Um, I run straight 16. This Hatch Saltwater Series Fluoro uh, it's really good. It comes in these large spools. Um, it says tip it, but you can run um, straight 16. Uh, again, albies are tough. Uh, they can break knots, so make sure you're tying good knots. Uh, I haven't lost a lot. You're always going to lose some albies. I really haven't lost very many just running straight 16. For the fish with eyes, sorry, Mr. Duck, um, you need some good eyes on yourself. Um, these, for me, the Costas or the best polarized glasses out there on the market. So I'm running uh, Costas with the sort of blue sheen when I'm out saltwater fishing, otherwise using the ambers on fresh. Uh, finally, if we're talking about what comes at the end of the fly line, um, I really love these Popovics fly foil 
flies. Uh, this is more of an amber. I often tie them in a tutti frutti. So that would be, if you guys are spin fishermen, maybe the electric chicken uh, tie over from the hoagie epoxy jigs. Um, that would be more of a chartreuse and a pink combination. But this amber tied a little bit long and then I trim it down uh, to the size of the hatch. So that's the gear uh, for New England's bonefish. It's gonna break gear, it's gonna test the best, uh, but these albies with this gear just stand in good shape. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below if you guys have other gear that you like or you recommend. This is just my experience. Love to learn from your experience. And if you like these videos, please click to subscribe. We've got more videos in the bank and we got more coming. Love for you guys to know what's coming out. Thanks so much. We'll catch you next time.